Hey everybody, this is Michael Kohler with Coral Castle Explained. The reason I am making this video today is that it has been stated for decades that Edward Leed Scalman said that he had discovered the secrets of the pyramid builders of Egypt. In fact, on the Coral Castle website itself, it states in regard to this topic that Ed would only say that he knew the secrets used to build the ancient pyramids and that if he could learn them, you could too. Today, hopefully, I'm going to show you that this may have been true. In fact, I believe it to be true. And I don't believe this based upon stories that I have heard, but based upon scientific and obvious reasons that I can point to today. The first reason speaks for itself. Um, the fact is no scientist, no engineer, no one who is experienced in the art of stone masonry has replicated what Edward Leed Scalman did over 70 years ago. In fact, if you search YouTube for the video that I'm showing here, it is part two of In Search of the Castle of Secrets. It is clearly proven in the video and stated by the man at the quarry that a single man with primitive tools could not have moved the coral blocks that Ed purportedly did by himself without modern machinery. There is a second reason that Ed may have known the secrets of the pyramid builders and that is there is a similarity between the coral that was used to build the coral castle in Homestead, Florida and the stones that were used to build the Great Pyramid of Giza thousands of years ago. Let me show you what that correlation is. But before I do so, let me tell you about something. Let me first tell you a little bit about coral. Now coral is made from a substance called oolite and oolite is a sedimentary rock formed from what are called ooids. Ooids are small spheres that are mostly composed of calcium carbonate. Remember that word. Calcium carbonate is a substance that is secreted by the corals or polyps which are the little animals that actually live in the coral reefs. The coral reefs grow as the polyps and the other organisms deposit calcium carbonate which creates the coral reefs themselves. So to summarize, a coral reef is the result of small creatures called corals or polyps that secrete calcium carbonate, which creates the coral reefs, which later becomes oolitic limestone, which is what most of southern Florida is actually made of. Now let me give you one more definition, which will help you tie all of this in. Another definition for what coral is, is this. It is a coral reef or limestone structure that was produced by living organisms. And limestone is a type of rock composed primarily of the mineral calcite, another important word to remember, which is the crystalline form of calcium carbonate. So what does this have to do with the Great Pyramid of Giza? The Great Pyramid of Giza was built with an estimated 2.3 million Limestone blocks composed primarily of the mineral calcite, the crystalline form of calcium carbonate, which is the same material that makes up coral. So there is our connection. The oolitic limestone, the coral that Ed Leedskalman used to build his coral castle, is made up of the same skeletal coral structures that the limestone at the Great Pyramids of Giza was made from. The stones, though given different names, are in composition absolutely identical. So then you may ask, what does this have to do with understanding the secrets of the pyramid builders? What can the similarities between the constitutions of both coral and limestone have to do with his ability to move 1,100 tons of coral without the aid of modern machinery? It has to do with its crystalline structure. Earlier I had mentioned that both coral and limestone share a common mineral. It is called calcite. Calcite, the crystalline form of calcium carbonate, is the primary component of both coral and limestone. Calcite is part of what is called the triagonal crystal system. And within this system is what is called a hexagonal lattice. Let me show you. In my previous video, I had shown you a clue at the end of the video. It was the obelisk, the nearly 30-ton, 40-foot high spire of coral 
that he had brought from Florida City to Homestead, where it resides today, and at the top of the obelisk was a six-pointed star. A six-pointed star, with all of the points connected, creates a hexagon. In my book, Coral Castle Explained, I show you multiple examples of how Ed repeatedly places the six-pointed symbol throughout the castle in various strategic locations for very specific purposes, which is beyond the scope of this video. On a basic level, however, it is my opinion, based on what I have just presented, that Edward Leed Scalman understood the similarities between the hexagonal lattice structure of both coral and limestone, as represented by the symbols that you see. The places that Ed used the symbol inside of the coral castle leads us in another direction from the foundational understanding of the similarities between coral and limestone to how this crystalline structure allowed him and the ancient Egyptians to move megalithic stones. In my next video I will discuss how this crystalline structure relates to quartz crystals, the human body, and the frequencies that Edward Leed Scalman must have tapped into, a secret also shared by the ancient Egyptians.